Hello, loyal Gold Story USA viewers. Today, I just wanted to get you guys a quick look at the new Mercurial Vapor 7 in the orange peel colorway right there. Also including Volt and Metallic Silver. This, so far this year, is my favorite colorway. I really like the photo blue ones, but I think this one is kind of taking the cake for me. It is one that, frankly, has been a very, very good seller already. Um, we do have them up online on goldstore.com, so feel free and check us out. But yeah, uh, just a quick rundown, because obviously this is really all review. Vapor 7. Uh, I'll see how quick I can do this. Vapor 6. Very wide. Great big toe box. Vapor 7. Much narrower. Much shorter toe box. Exact same outsole. Nothing changed there. All Tepex. Hollowed out studs, toe off board, right there. Uh, sock liner almost exactly the same from the 6 to the 7, except it's a little bit narrower. Still very tacky, doesn't allow the sock to slide around a whole heck of a lot. Um, even in wet weather, even with sweaty feet. Beyond that, as you can see, I really do, like I mentioned before, I love the coloration on these things. Inbuilt heel counter, really no alternative to that. If with an external one on this thing you're going to find you would blister like mad. Um, speaking of which, make sure you get these shoes very snug. Do not buy a vapor of any kind, 5, 6, 7 or otherwise, without making sure that it is a very, very snug fit. They do run about a half size big, so be careful of that. Snug fit is always good. The thing you want to watch out for when you're trying them on, if your toe's popping up right here, if you can see the top of your toe, you got it too snug. However, if the laces are bulging outward like that, just kind of like this, and then also up at the front of the shoe, they kind of bulge upwards like this. Not a problem. Not an issue. Bulging on the laces, good. Bulging on the toe, bad. Other than that, really, like I said, just kind of review. Nothing new here about the Vapor 7, aside from the color, which, again, can't stress enough how much I enjoy it. Um, I've told you guys before, the only real problems, uh, physical defects we've ever had with these things is when you're playing with them on turf more than 75% of the time, you're going to find after a couple of months you're going to lose these back studs. They'll fall right off. Uh, so be careful of that, and then on top of that, the only other real issue is this little bumper right here at the front of the shoe. Oftentimes you'll find that the upper comes away from that outsole. Um, that one's not as big a deal. It takes a lot of punishment to get there. Other than that, you're pretty much good to go. So if you've worn Vapor 6s and they were extremely snug, you can just go ahead and rule out the Vapor 7s because they're a lot smaller than the 6s were. But other than that, these shoes are rock solid. They've got the best touch of any synthetic out there. That includes the Audi Zero, no question. Um, yeah, other than that, really high quality shoe. Check them out on goldstore.com. We'd really appreciate it. And um, thanks very much for tuning in, guys. We'll catch up with you very soon.